Good morning and welcome to Cindy's Kitchen. So glad that you're here with us here on a Saturday morning. If you're brand new, welcome. Make sure you say hello and tell us where you're from. This is a cooking community, so we sit and chat. This is not one of those five minute meals, but join our community. Uh, meet some new people from all over the United States and all over the world we've had on here. If you're watching the replay, don't forget to do hashtag replay. And of course, if you uh, make one of our recipes, post it on our page uh, at Cindy's Perfect Bite right here on Cindy's Kitchen. So good to see everybody this morning. Good morning, Julie. Terry's here. Katrina's here. There's Nell from North Carolina. Ah, uh, Joanne, my sweetie's here. Hello, Gail. Oh, you're waiting for the snow in Chicagoland. Terry, good morning. Nina's here. Julie in Northwest Houston. Hi, Joanne. Look, today I have Dragonfly Heaven. Isn't that, doesn't that make you happy? Just beautiful little dragonflies. Makes me happy. And I was kind of in the blue fashion today. So there you go. Margaret's here. Hey, Margaret from Illinois. You know, I'm, I'm uh, waiting to see how much snow you guys get. I still have my air conditioning on, just saying, here in Houston. Good morning, Sharon. Nina. Oh, Gail, you're supposed to get up to 10 inches. Oh, my. Christina, good morning. Snow in Chile, Michigan. Yep. Joan, hello. Is it already snowing where you are, Joan? Good morning, Sue and Katie. Britt's here. Good morning, Britt. Are you back in Stillwater? All right. So I know that Super Bowl is not this weekend. But, hi, Sue. But I, I got to thinking that it really would be better to do this ahead of time, right? So it's not like... Uh, good morning, Casey and Mary, Vicki and Janet. Good morning. Um, you know, I, I don't think it does anyone go any good to say today is the show. Hurry, rush to the grocery store, buy all this so you can make it tomorrow. So I wanted to give you an opportunity to have a week, maybe try these out, have an opportunity to get to the store um, or try them yourself. So there you go. We've made um, one of these on the show, and I've talked about another one. And then we've got a lovely, yummy uh, adult beverage that I want you to try. All right, so let's do coffee clinks. Ready? All right, raise your coffee, hot tea, water, iced tea, soda, whatever it is you're drinking, and let's do coffee clinks. Cheers. Cheers. Last sip. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, pop some, pop some pop. <laughs> uh, 25 degrees going shopping after your show. Oh, so cold. So cold. Hey, Linda. Uh, good morning. Coffee clinks. The first thing I'm going to do is to put some popcorn chicken, frozen popcorn chicken. Just bought a big bag of frozen popcorn chicken from the frozen food section at the grocery store, wherever you buy your groceries. I put it in a container, I mean a, a baking dish, and I'm just making this many. So it's like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. You could do the whole bag. Good morning, Mandy. Hi, Lisa and Brenda. Tana's here. Mandy, Susan, Charlene, Mayra's here. Good morning. Anyway, so this is just popcorn chicken, frozen popcorn chicken. You can put it, if you're doing the whole thing, you can put it on a baking sheet, right? Hey, Sharon. So I'm going to stick this in the oven. The weather is not good on my old bones. Yeah, me either. All right, so in my oven it's going. And we'll forget about that just for a bit because we'll, we'll, as soon as that's done, we'll do something else. Oh, Beth from Connecticut. Good to see you. Brenda, everybody, so Brenda's here. All right, now that's going to be for our second dish, but we got to get that going. Our first dish is going to be a buffalo chicken dip. You guys probably make this all the time. I tend to make this when I have leftover chicken. That's just me, but uh, good morning, Janice. Now I've got, this is a covered baker. You could do this on stovetop if you wanted to. Kind of lazy. Oh yeah, 
four dogs now. Four dogs, I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, you could do it on the stovetop if you wanted. I'm kind of lazy, and so I'm just going to uh, do it in a covered dish and uh, put it in the oven. Pretty, huh? Black and blue. Pretty, pretty. All right, so let's start with what we're going to put in here. The first thing we've got is two cups of chicken. So here you go, two cups of chicken. You can use any kind of chicken you have, right? Cooked chicken. Um, here's the deal. Everybody on food channels wants to tell you to zip out and get a rotisserie chicken. And you know what? Sometimes rotisserie chickens are a good buy. It is much cheaper just to buy chicken and roast it or bake it or boil it or whatever. So if you're trying to save money, that's the way to go, all right? Now, assume with me, you know, with me, it's always either economical or lazy. So which am I today? Today, I am lazy. I was not economical today. I did not buy chicken and make it up. This is canned chicken, but you need about two cups. So this was two cans. Um, you could make it smaller, but we like this, so I'm going to make it big. And then I'm just breaking it up because I don't want a big chunk of chicken. I want it more, um, there we go, more sh shredded look. So can you see? It's got that, it's a shredded kind of chicken, all right? So we want at least two cups of shredded chicken. To that, we're going to add eight ounces of cream cheese. Room temp, make sure you get it room temp or this is gonna be very difficult, right? Eight ounces of cream cheese. Hello, Donna and Rita, good to see you this morning. Welcome, tell us where you're from. We're also gonna need some sour cream. Now I'm gonna put in, so that was eight ounces of cream cheese and um, I'm gonna put in a half a cup of sour cream. Half a cup of sour cream. Look at me measure. Do you see me measure? There you go. La, 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 la. Okay, so there's my sour cream. I am going to put some other veggie stuff in there. Costco chickens were on sale. Buy one, get one. Oh, well, there you go. Rita's from Boston. Good morning. Oh, and there's Donna Donna. I have three green onions, although I'm not certain that one counts. It's little bitty. That one's teeny tiny thin. So um, maybe two green onions combined. And I'm just gonna give those a nice chop. I'm gonna tilt you down just a bit uh, so that you can see the cutting board. Um, you know me, perfect bite, so I like everything diced very thin. So I'm just gonna dice these green onions very thin. So who are you, uh, Maine? Temperatures made it up to 15. Oh my, that is very cold. Very cold. I think you win. You win. Good morning, Rita. Um, it, are you watching? So let's just know. I know it's not for a week away, but are you watching the Super Bowl? And if you are, who are you rooting for? Now, I have a... a oh, it's, uh, I don't watch football. I used to watch college football all the time. Uh, but really, I don't really, we don't have cable anymore, so really don't. Good morning, Ann. Good to see you. Um, so I really don't watch football. So I know that's probably a bad thing to admit, uh, but there you go. But Jessica does. Jessica's a big football person, so I'm guessing there will be football in this house now. Um, all right, so two green onions. I'm going to put pop those into my dish. You notice I'm mixing this. Not ta not Tampa Bay, <laughs> Karen. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put this in the dish. I'm not doing a mixing bowl. Just gonna mix it all in my dish. I have one stalk of celery. Uh, again, I like it thin, so you could do just like this, but I'm gonna slice down first and then across. Usually only watch the commercials. Yeah, no, no football for you. Sometimes I watch the commercials. Yeah, I heard that uh, Budweiser was not doing any. So I don't know if there's none or they're just the ones that said they're not doing any. So I don't know what the answer is. Hello, Blanca. Good to see you. So that's it. So what do you do uh, on Super Bowl Sunday if other people... Cindy, do I rib my celery? You know, Karen, I don't. 
Um, I, if I if I bought it from a farmer's market um, or you know somebody that's grown it, then I would. But quite frankly, from the grocery store, I mean, you can look at it. If it looks like you've got stuff, then you can peel it down, but I normally do not. So there you go. Hello, Ruth and Dean. Denise. Oh, yeah, Massachusetts. I already heard it was freezing, freezing, freezing cold. All right, so I'm going to dice up this celery. I'm hoping that our friend um, uh, Eberly. Uh, oh, I can't think of her first name. Eberly, uh, 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 I can't. Anyway, yes, or Thursday when I was making the pickle soup, I have to tell you, I was so amazed. My mom said it was funny to look at my face when I tasted it. I was so shocked because I was ready not to like pickle soup. Uh, they're still doing ads for their sellers, Bud Light, just not Bud. Oh, okay. Um, hello, Peggy. I was ready to not like pickle soup because I was really thinking it was going to taste like you were drinking pickle juice and that was just not going to happen. But I have to tell you, it tasted like a really good veggie laden potato soup, um, seltzers. I don't know what seltzers is. Hey Dean. Uh, so one stock of celery that I have diced up, it's going in the pot too. Um, it didn't. It tasted like a veggie-laden potato soup, and the pickles added a saltiness to it that was not unpleasant. I really thought it was going to be unpleasant, but it was not. All right, so we have two cups of shredded chicken. We have eight ounces of room-temperature cream cheese, a half a cup of sour cream. You could use light on all those things if you so desire. Uh, two green onions diced and one stock of celery diced, so that's all in there. And then of course, it's a buffalo chicken dip, right? So we need some buffalo sauce. I'm using Frank's Red Hot, that's up to you. Uh, you need about, now this depends on you. So if you are like, whoo, that's too spicy for me, you could use a quarter cup. Many Polish soups have a more sour, at, yeah, I, I think so. What can you sub for sour cream? Hmm. 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 Maybe plain yogurt, but I'm not certain. Maybe plain yogurt. Uh, you could use some mayo, I suppose, but that'll give it more of a salty taste. And with this, I wouldn't use more salt. So yeah, I guess a plain yogurt is where I would go. All right, so if you if this is too hot for you, oh, you're allergic, okay. If this is too hot for you and you only wanna do a quarter cup, you should do that, okay? Uh, if you like it hot and spicy, are you a hot and spicy kind of guy or gal? There you go. Oh, so if you use Greek yogurt, add a little lemon juice, Terry says. Terry would know. Uh, otherwise, anywhere from a quarter cup to a half a cup of hot sauce. You don't have to use a particular brand, uh, any kind of winged hot sauce, all right? So, and then the last thing I'm gonna put in, and you don't have to, but I like it. You can take your choice. I like, this is chunky blue cheese dressing, salad dressing, right? Like you put on your salad. If It depends what you eat with your wings. Some people eat blue cheese, some people eat ranch. So if you are a ranch person, you can put some ranch dressing in here. I'm gonna put the blue cheese in because I'm a blue cheese person. We Polish even add vinegar to soup we eat, like the bean soup. Well, there you go, okay. Um, and so about a quarter cup of um, whatever, whether you want blue cheese or you want um, ranch. You can put um, blue cheese chunks in here this dressing kind of addresses that because it's chunky blue cheese. And so you could put the blue cheese chunks in, but you know, already there and kind of lazy, right? So that's all of our ingredients. Look at that, Heather Eberly. That's her name. Woo, I tell you, I've been having more and more mature moments. Do you have those where your brain doesn't work? I call those mature moments. Um, every time Philip misses something, he goes, oh, I have mad cow disease. Probably not something to joke about, but there you go. All right, and so now we're just gonna give it a toss. 
No, I'm terrified of blue cheese. Ranch all the way. <laughs> what do you? What is you? Are you a ranch or are you a blue cheese with the wings? Um, I like this dip just because um, I I love I love buffalo wings. I do, but you know, probably not as good for you. Uh, no, I'm not saying this is good for you because it certainly is not a good for you dip, right? <laughs> but you know, at least you don't have fried. Uh, the fried wings, right? So, um, there we go. All right, we need one more ingredient. I just wanted to get it all mixed up. It is a lovely color. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, all right. So now, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, here we go. I'm going to put in about a cup. This is Mexican style shredded cheese. You can put in whatever kind of cheese you have. Cheddar, mozzarella. Really, I like... Oh, you don't like spicy at all. Okay, well, Rita, Rita you're going to go with our next dish then, okay? Blue cheese, blue cheese. All right, uh, about a cup of cheese. Whatever cheese you have. And the reason for this is because I... Now, I know, we have cream cheese in here and we have sour cream. And so that's going to give it a creamy thing. The big deal bag, I know, right? Is that like big? The big deal bag. It says so right there. Oops, right there. Big deal bag. Um, I really like that creamy. It's creamy because the cream cheese and the sour cream. But I want it to kind of ooze and I don't know. I know it's not good for me. It's not good for me. Hey, Mindy. All right, so I've used my Danish whisk only because it's really good when you're mixing up chunky things like this. So. All right, I'm just going to settle this all in. You do not have to cook this with the lid on, all right? So you could cook it basically with the lid off. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that. I probably will do that. Let's taste. We should taste. Mm. Oh, my. Oh, my. So good. Blame your methotrexate. One of the side effects is brain fog. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, because I took my methotrexate last night. Six of those puppies. I hate taking that. Anyway, so if you want it so it's cooked and then it's kind of bubbly on the top, no lid. And that's what I'll probably do. Just leave out the hot sauce. But, Mom, if you leave out the hot sauce, then it's not buffalo chicken. Then it's just chicken dip with no seasoning at all. You can't do that. Anyway, so I'm gonna put this in the oven just like this. I went ahead and used one with a lid because if there's any left, there you go, see? And into the refrigerator. All right, or you can keep it warm until everybody's ready to eat. So 350 degrees, um, I usually use it, leave it in there about 20 minutes because really everything's cooked. We're just really melting all the cheeses and making everybody happy. Isn't everybody going to be happy? Oh, yes. Okay. All right, I need to check my chicken. Almost. The chicken is almost done, but not quite. So you know what that means. Is Heather Eberly on yet? No. Mm. Boo. Boo, because I have something I need to tell Heather. Mm. So good. My mom is a hoot, isn't she? All right. Let's just start. I'm going to flip this. Flip. I'm going to take my knife, give it a wipe down. Polish pottery heater under it to keep it warm. I don't have a Polish pottery heater. Hmm. It is delicious. Oh, Heather, good to see you. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and do the adult beverage while we wait for our chicken to heat up. This is going to freak you out, but I can't help it. All right. We're going to do fruit. We're going to do fruit-infused vodka. <gasps> really? But we're going to do it, and then we're going to drink it, taste it, next sun, next Saturday. Your dog will look out. I have several. I need a heater. I guess so. I don't have one of those, Karen. All right, so I'm just going to get a bowl, and you can use whatever kind of fruit you want. Here's what I got. I got strawberries. I got blueberries. And I got raspberries. So it's a berry kind of deal. It's vodka time, not hammer time, but it's vodka time. All right, so I'm just gonna make two of these 
These are pint, no. Are these pint or quart? Pint. These are pint mason jars. You can put it in whatever you want to, right? But there you go. All right, so um, make sure you wash them, you know, all that kind of stuff. We're not, we're not canning, so you don't need to sterilize. Okay. Now, to our bowl, we're going to put in some, some uh, raspberries. So, I'm going to figure, because I'm making two, I'm going to put in uh, two, four, six, eight. Eight raspberries. <laughs> and then we're going to put in some blueberries. Now, if you don't like any of the fruits that I'm using or you can't find them, uh, well, one, I would tell you uh, to, you can use the frozen ones. Hey, Lisa, good to see you. You can use, just put on a whole handful of uh, blueberries. I'm just checking them. Because, you know, every now and then. Like, I don't like that one. Um... Frozen, frozen fruit, especially you guys. It's a distillery, I know, right? The vodka will sterilize the jars. We used to say that like if you went to, um, to Mexico, if you went on a vacation to Mexico and people were worried, oh, you might get sick. And I was like, of course, that was in my younger days when I could, when I drank more. I don't drink very much today. I, I don't know. Anyway, so. Oops, that blueberry has a stem. We have to take that stem off. All right, now I'm going to put some strawberries in here. Um, and I'm going to cut these up. I'm just going to cut off the tip and slice it up. Or, you know, there you go. Look, about that. Okay? So then if you, um, like I said, frozen fruit. A lot of you who are in northern states, a distillery in Detroit is releasing raspberry Paxi. What is Paxi? Somebody tell me what that is. I don't know what that is. I'm going to use about four strawberries because these are good size. These are good size strawberries. What is Paxi? I don't know what that is. Um, anyhow, frozen is good for you, right? Same with veggies. I know a lot of times you guys see when I, on this show that I use fresh vegetables you know, like I'm cutting up onions or, or whatever. And um, you're like, oh, well, I don't have any of that. Well, it's okay. I am going to put um, just a whiff, just a ponchki. Ponchki. I don't know what. Oh, it's a Polish donut. Oh, ponchki. Ponchki is a Polish donut. Yum. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. I just need to get my sugar. Mmm. Here we go. Sorry. I had to make sure I grabbed the right one. I have little wine corks on my things to tell me what's in each one. So just, oh, and look, I have a little scoop. Cute, huh? Uh, not much. I'm just gonna put, uh, let's say, a teaspoon of sugar on there. Okay. Now we need to muddle. Muddle, I tell you. And for that, I'm going to use one of these. Which one do you think? The tata masher or the regular masher? You got both of those? You can only get them on Fat Tuesday. Oh, but Gail, do, because Polish, uh, they, re, they do Fat Thursday. So can you get them on Fat Tuesday in the United States or Fat Thursday? Eaten before Lent. I'm going to use this one. All right, so we don't need to mush them totally. This is really fresh fruit. Oh, it spurted at me. <laughs> we have a 60% chance of rain today. Tater masher, tater masher. There you go, Casey. Um, we have a 60% chance of rain today. And so I got up this morning and everything was hurting. So I figure those of you who live in really cold climates and you're about to get snow, if you have arthritis, you're probably doing the same thing. All right, so I've muddled or smashed. Muddled sounds better, doesn't it? Million calories per donut. Oh, that doesn't hurt my feelings. Okay, so look. Are you looking? We just kind of mashed them all up in there. We could just eat this on ice cream. Yum. Five to nine inches of snow. Kroger's has them. Ours for three weeks. Gotcha. Okay, look how gorgeous that is. 
Ah, fresh berries. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna divide it up between these two containers, but worth every calorie, I imagine, right? Uh, I'm gonna divide this up between the two containers and uh, probably, you know, if you're using smaller containers, you might need to be kind of careful, like maybe use a spoon. So, cause a, a funnel is not gonna work on this. It would be good in your iced tea. Okay, so there we go, a little muddled. I had an escaping blueberry, in you go. All right, so there it goes on the bottom. Now I could stop right there. Best jelly donuts, yum. I could stop right there and add the vodka and this would be great. Fruit infused vodka, and you can use anything. If you want cucumber vodka, put cucumbers in here. You want blueberry vodka, put blueberries in here. Strawberry, whatever kind of flavored vodka you want, just muddle it in here, pour the vodka on, put the lid on, um, and it, it only takes three to five days, but because Saturday is our adult beverage show, we're gonna open them next Saturday. So every day, give them a little toss. Now, most people will say that before you serve it, you need to strain it, like with a cloth, so that you won't get the, the chunks, right? You want the flavor, not the chunks. I'm not certain what I'm gonna do about that yet, because I might want the chunks, but anyway. I'm not stopping there. I'm gonna add one more thing. And the thing I'm gonna add is some vanilla. Lemon is good too, lemon vodka, right. So orange vodka, lemon vodka, lime vodka, whatever your little heart desires. Remember when we made homemade vanilla extract? Okay, when we made homemade vanilla extract, we used Madagascar vanilla beans, which are some of the best. Madagascar, and you, if you're making extract, you always wanna make sure you use grade B. I know it's kind of, if you're using grade A, that's for like baking, but grade B is if you're making a vanilla extract, right? Prunes, I, 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 well, I like prunes, so that might be good. Oh, the lemon donuts, custard, okay. We're not talking about vodka, we're talking about donuts. I know what you guys are all talking about, all right. But there's also Tahitian, and that's what this is. This is Tahitian vanilla, and then I also have some Mexican vanilla. All have a tiny little bit different taste. Svedka is a good flavored vodka too. Heather Eberly, you're here. Okay, good, I have something for you as soon as I finish this. All right, so I'm gonna open this. Well, I say I will, because you know it's vacuum packed in there. And then, you know, Cindy's little, little arthritic fingers. All right, I'm going to take out two of these. One for each bottle. There we go. Now, you guys have seen me when we did the other one. You have seen that you take your, okay, so here's what the bean looks like if you've never seen a fresh vanilla bean, okay? Here's what the bean looks like. It, it looks um, dried is what it looks like, but it's a little oily, which is good. You, that's, that's a good thing. Um, and then we're gonna, you have cherry soaked in vodka in the fridge. Yum, Nina. Um, we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna slip through here just to open it up, all right? So that, can you make the vanilla extract and bourbon? Yes, Denise, you certainly can. It's gonna be, whoa, but it's good nonetheless. All right, there you go. All right, so I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna just go down the middle and really, again, I'm not gonna be scraping them out. I just wanna open it up so that the vodka gets a chance to have fun with the vanilla. So now look, we cut it open. I don't know if you can see really well in there, but all the good vanilla is in there. Ooh, yum, yum. So if I were to scrape it out, I'll scrape just a little out. It looks like a green bean on steroids. Okay, look, I touched it. Look, now it's on my fingers. So that's the vanilla that you would cook with, right? That's what you would scrape this out of the center. I don't wanna lose any of it. You would scrape that out of the center and that's what you would cook with. Uh, that, that being said, we're not doing that. We're gonna take this um, and I'm gonna put it in my jar. Hold on. I wanna make sure that I get this vanilla in there. Go in there, go in there, I say. Okay, so here we go. We have our muddled 
Green bean on extra. I love that. Caviar. It is caviar, right? Okay, so we have our muddled fruit and we have our vanilla bean. Now, if you don't like vanilla flavored things, you could leave that out, right? So there's two. And then we're going to take some vodka. You can use whatever you can, but you know, Jessica's cleaning out to move over here. And so she had this big thing. And some of you asked about uh, different vodka brands. This is Rain. It's called Rain. I think it is a beautiful bottle of vodka, right? Beautiful. We may have to get another bottle of vodka. I don't know if I have enough in here to fill both. We'll see. Smells like vodka. All right, so we're gonna pour in. And I'm gonna fill them pretty much up. Uh, yeah, Jess, we need more. That was just one. Empty bottle. Wouldn't this be pretty? As a, as a lamp, you know, they have those things. I really want to get them. They're the little fairy lights and they go inside the bottle and the cork looking thing is actually the on and off button. I want to get that. Isn't that pretty? All right, so that means, oh, the other one is going to be made with Grey Goose. I would buy that just for the bottle. I know, right? Isn't it pretty? All right, and so this one, we're going to fill... These would, I think, if you have, I'm going to put a little bit more in that one. I think this would be a great gift, right, for Valentine's, uh, especially with all the berries in it. I think that would be an awesome gift. Now, I know that my little vanilla bean is sticking out, but that's okay because I'm going to put the lid on it. Put the lid on both of them. Smoosh it down in there. And then we're going to give them a shake. Shake, oh, let's do both. Shake, 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 shake. Shake your vodka, shake your vodka. Hey, it, are my chicken done? Yes. Okay, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look. So good. Now, again, we're not tasting this today. Too bad, so sad. We're gonna, we're gonna just set this aside. You don't have to refrigerate it. You can put it on a cabinet, wherever. Put it in the refrigerator, or uh, you can put it in the refrigerator if you so desire, uh, but you don't have to. And then, you see all the fruit in there? Then you have an option next Saturday, we're gonna open these up and drink them. Yum! And we have a choice of straining it so that we don't get all that in there or not. We'll make the choice. Maybe we'll strain one and not the other. But anyway, wouldn't this be a cute gift to give to somebody? It's gonna turn, you see it's already turning colors from me shaking it, but uh, the longer, <clears throat> the longer that it sets, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> the longer it sets, different colors, right? So if you use blueberries, it's going to have more of a blue tint. Um, we use blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries, and that's why we get this gorgeous color, right? All right, so that's our adult beverage. We'll taste that next Saturday. Don't forget to come next Saturday. All right, Heather Eberly. Um, we set them just right there. Heather Eberly, will it be carbonated when you drink them? I don't know. If I added a carbonation, that has no carbonation in it because it's just fruit and vodka. But you certainly could add like a lemon lime soda. You could add whatever you want to do it because really it's just flavored vodka. All right. I promised I would answer a question on Thursday's show that Heather asked and I didn't answer the question. And I felt really bad when I, when I went back and looked at the comments. I was like, oh, I might make those for the Super Bowl party we're going to with six friends. That would be great. Yes, Sprite would be good. Yeah. Okay. So in the pickle soup that we made, one of the ingredients was a leek, right? This is what a leek looks like. If you've never seen a leek, there were several like it ferments. Um... No, it doesn't really ferment. It's just infusing the flavor into the vodka. That's it. That's all. Ginger ale with lemonade. Yes, that would be good. Anyway, so this is a leek if you've never cooked with a leek before. I tend not to use the green parts. You can. Uh, they're just a little tougher. I tend to cut about right here. So maybe a little bit of the green, but the white will go up to about right here. Um, and then I cut from here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, oh, I'm gonna peel this back just so you can kind of get an idea about what it looks like. Okay, do you see this? This is mud, 
right? This is mud. Even if you buy it from the grocery store, you're going to see this mud in here. Leaks, um, have, see all the mud in there? Leaks hold a lot of sand. And then, of course, when they get wet, it turns into mud. So, if you're cooking a leek, one of the most important things is you have to cut them and then you have to rinse, 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 rinse. You can put them in a big bowl of water and do one of this. A lot of times the sand will drop to the bottom, but even after you do that, you need to take them out of that, put them in a colander, run water over them, and use your fingers. I'm gonna cut the end off of this so you can see what it looks like. I know that, it, see there's the, the root, right? It does look like a really large green onion, doesn't it? All right, so it's a, oops, can you see? So like a green onion, you see the rounds, you see it goes round and round and round, but there's still mud in each one of those, okay? So when you cut them, like if I'm making leek and potato soup, what I would do is if you cut these rounds, I usually do them very thin. Oh, it all came apart. Look, it, it's like, just like an onion, right? It looks like an onion, right? But they're dirty. So again, you need to put those into a colander and rinse, 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 because you don't want to be eating dirt. Hello, Darlene. Okay, so Heather, I hope that answered your question about leeks. Leek and potato soup is lovely. I've never had just plain leek soup, but yeah, it's like a very mild onion, but a lovely herby taste, herbaceous taste, I guess we could say. All right. So, I just wanted to make sure I answered questions. I don't want you guys to think, oh, we ask questions and she doesn't give us answers, right? Okay, so we have our fruit and vanilla infused vodka over here. We did that. If you will remember, the very first thing we did when we came on was we took some popcorn shrimp, right? Popcorn shrimp and put them in the oven. And so now the popcorn shrimp are done. I will use the tops in my veggie broth. All right, now we're gonna use some Eggo, Eggo Minis. <laughs> this is a great little appetizer, or if you have kids, this is good for kids, right? Okay, look at these. You just, it's Eggos, so you pop them in the toaster. But there's four little mini waffles on each one, see? Okay, so I'm gonna pop this in the toaster. Move, dogs. In the toaster we go, except I have to plug in the toaster. There we go, move. All right, then we get a plate or a platter, depending on how many you're making. If you're making this just for your family, uh, you know, maybe a, a plate is okay. If you're making this for more people, maybe you need a big platter, right? Um, you have some, uh, this is just plain, frozen popcorn chicken that we stuck in the oven. We just follow the directions and now it's heated up. Okay. This is the silliest thing, but we love this. It is so cute. All right. And we're going to need some honey. Honey. Are they popcorn, chicken, or shrimp? Oh, shrimp might be good, but this is chicken. Popcorn chicken. Did I say shrimp? I'm sorry. All right. Then if you want, we can use some Frank's Red Hot. You guys get to decide. We're making... Chicken and waffles. Honey, I shrunk the food. Ha, 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 ha. That's what we're doing. Chicken and waffles. Honey, I shrunk the food. Because it's an appetizer. You don't want to serve chicken and waffles. Although, maybe you do, right? I don't know. All right. So, what I'll do is I'll put the Frank's hot sauce on half and not on the other half. Will that make everybody happy? Honey, I know. I know. You just want the honey. Anyway, they have little bitty French toast ones. Those are good too. Uh, you could use those. The, the difference is the French toast ones are long and thin and not good to set a piece of chicken on. Um, yeah, they're great, right? I know. I'm going to use hot sauce on at least half. So these are just cute. It's a mini thing. Like I said, for kids or for an appetizer, I think it works great. Good heavens, how long must the toaster take? Really? How long? Remember when I got the new toaster? I got the mint green dash one that matched my egg cooker. When my oldest daughter moved out of the house, I told her she could take whatever she wanted. She took that. So I still have my old white 
Westinghouse. Good thing I didn't throw my toaster away. There wasn't anything wrong with it. But, you know, once you have an appliance, you know, like that for 20 years, you're like, I just want something new. I know, that's sad. That's bad of me. But I did. I wanted a new toaster. So, hey, Jenna. All right, so now we're just waiting. How sad is that? So, anybody, if you're, you didn't answer me, so I'm going to ask again. If you are not watching the Super Bowl, what do you do while it's on? So, in other words, if you have somebody else in your house who's a football fan and they're watching it, but you don't, what do you do? Do you do something else? Do you watch something else? Do you stand in the back and act supportive? Uh, what is it that you do? I'm very blessed. I'm very lucky. My husband does not watch sports. Well, he watches tennis, but he's not a hunter and he doesn't watch sports. Thank you. It is a uh, scrub top. <laughs> You just bought a baby blue toaster. Pretty. You still have your 20-year-old Hamilton Beach double toaster. I know. They work well. They really do. Hamilton Beach crafts. Debbie does some crafts. You watch a movie. I'll probably watch Netflix and crochet. That's probably what I'll be doing. Good morning, Deb. And watch. Oh, and you're going to watch. Usually don't watch at all, Rachel. Buy Polish pottery on my phone. <laughs> Mindy, I know. I get in trouble. Mom cooks and eats. There you go. You watch the Super Bowl. Okay, I think this is done. Okay. This is probably why I bought a new toaster. Because that didn't pop up and they're not really brown brown. Anyway. All right, so all you do is you break them apart. Netflix, movie. There you go. Break them apart. So now we have these cute, cute. Are those cute? Cute little waffles. Just break them apart. They break right apart. It's toasted, so it didn't take you any time. The hardest part of this is heating up the popcorn chicken in the oven. That's it. That's the hardest part. Or in your air fryer, however you do. All right. So here is our plate. Now we're just going to take our popcorn chicken and each of the little mini waffles gets a piece of popcorn chicken. Although some of this popcorn chicken is a good size. Like, it's pretty big. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Now, that's all good and well. I'm going to shove them in just a little bit. All right. But now, because chicken and waffles, you put honey on it. So now I'm going to take the honey. You ready? And we're just going to drizzle back and forth so that everybody gets some honey. Right? Honey. Na, 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 na. Okay, everybody has honey. And then, because, you know, everybody needs a little spice, I am going to use the red hot sauce. Cuz. Cuz, 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 right? So, I'm going to put, I'm going to drizzle. Oh, yum. And that's the one I'm going to eat. Right there. It has honey and it has red hot sauce. Since I hold Tupperware, I usually host a Facebook Tupperware Super Bowl party with all the bowls. What a great idea, Debbie. All right, so some of them have the hot sauce. Some of them just have honey. What a great appetizer, don't you think? All right, let's taste. You ready? Since I can't taste the vodka today. All right, here we go. It's a big one. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. <coughs> Mm. Mm, 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 so good, mm, so good, it's a big bite, I probably should have taken half a bite, mm. Mm. you get the sweet from the, the waffle and the honey, you got the crispy chicken, and then that hot sauce, <gasps> mm. so good, mm. mm hmm Sip of coffee while we... That was the yummy dance, in case you were curious. La, la, la. I know, right? Mm. All right. Mm. Time to check the dip. Time to check the dip. Are you ready? All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so good. Okay, look. Can you see? It's even got, oh, thank you, dear. I'm gonna lift it all the way up so you can see. Look at this. 
Oh, so good. So good, right? I'm gonna give it another stir. Oh, see how you can do it with the lid or without? You need chips, I know. How else would people know the food's good unless I did the dance? <laughs> right, Rachel, right? I don't, you know, I think you gotta taste everything. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do, oh, okay, what should we do? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do a scoop. Corn, or, uh, you know, like a tocito scoop. Although this is very hot, so I'll probably die here. Don't die. Okay, so remember, what do we put in here? Two cups of chicken, eight ounces of cream cheese, um, a half a cup of sour cream, somewhere between a quarter cup to a half a cup of hot sauce, um, one stalk of celery, and two green onions, and some blue cheese sal or, uh, salad dressing, right? But you could use ranch, you ready? I hope I don't die. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Nobody else is getting this. Mm. I know. Everybody loves this one. And the first time I made it, I didn't follow a recipe. I was just dumping stuff in. Mm. It is the perfect bite, Joanne. You're right. All right, so we have two perfect bites today. We have our yummy buffalo chicken dip. Mm. So good. And you saw how fast we made it. And then, of course, our chicken and waffles. Honey, I shrunk the food, right? Some with just honey and some with honey and hot sauce. And then, of course, we did our fruit and vanilla infused vodka, which we will take a sip of next week. Okay, I'm just, I'm just nosy. I know I shouldn't do this, right? Oh, it already smells good. I shouldn't. Oh, it already starts to taste good. Whoa! Vodka in the morning, I'm just telling you. All right, so next Saturday we'll have this. Can you leave the hot sauce out since I don't like hot sauce? Benita, you could. But here's the problem with that. This is a buffalo chicken dip. And so that really is the flavor. So if you leave the buffalo wing sauce out, I would add something else. Do you like barbecue sauce? Because you could make a barbecue chicken dip. And instead of using the hot sauce, you could put in barbecue sauce. Now, I obviously probably wouldn't put the blue cheese dressing in there. I'm not certain how that would go. But you could use a barbecue sauce. Or um, you could put in salsa if you like salsa. You could do that and it would be more of a Mexican kind of uh, chicken dip. So yeah, so do those. That drink will curl my hair. I know and I need it. Maybe I should drink more because my hair has never been curly ever in my life. Ah! You guys, I had a lovely day. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Mm. I'm gonna just sit and eat. <laughs> we will see you guys next Tuesday. I hope you have an awesome day. Don't forget to head over to our YouTube channel. Uh, to, to catch up on videos if you've missed any. And other than that, from my kitchen to yours, I hope you have today's perfect bite in your kitchen. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye-bye.